Okay, so I'm always looking for ways to extend the functionality of my mobile devices, like my iPhone and my iPod Touch here. And I've already talked about hooking up uh, things like Bluetooth keyboards to these devices. Uh, so my next step was I was looking for some way to have an external mic input. Uh, I use Skype quite a lot and I find uh, this applied earbud combination mic thingy uh, supplied by Apple um, to be quite uncomfortable. Um, when they're in your ears, the dolls fall out, you've got to hold the mic, so it's a bit inconvenient. Okay, so what I wanted to do was use my own headset with mic, which I use for video conferencing. The problem is that it comes with two connectors, one for your mic and one for your audio. So the solution is to, to build a cable. You can actually buy these as well, but um, I, I just built this and um, I got the parts from Maplins. So I'll explain more about the cable later on and I'll just show you some demos of this in action. So one of the advantages of making up a cable like this is that you can use your own external mic. Not all mics work, um, but I have one here that does. This is a Sony Z60. I actually used this to record some of my lectures when I was doing a part-time degree a few years ago. And it's a directional mic, so it cuts down any sort of paper noise, and it's, it's rather sensitive. So it's an ideal mic for recording lectures. So all I have to do is plug it into the mic, Pull it into my iOS device, so it'll work with iPhone, iPod Touch, uh, not the first generation one. Yeah. And on, it's very, on the very simplest level, I can actually just hit record on the voice memos. And talk away, blah, 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 so as you can see it's recording there, just stop. So just simulating a classroom or lecture situation, I've just pulled up a video from YouTube. It's Sir Ken Robinson talking about schools or creativity in, in schools. So I'll just play that back. So what I'll do here is a start a new note, uh, I love telling it of a little girl hit record, in a drawing lesson. She was six and, she and I can just start typing the notes. This little girl hardly ever paid attention, and in this drawing lesson she did. And uh, the teacher was fascinated. She went over to her and she said, what are you drawing? And the girl said, I'm drawing a picture of God. And the teacher said, but nobody knows what God looks like. And the girl said, they will in a minute. <laughs> when, <laughs> when my son was four in England, actually he was four everywhere, to be honest. I mean, really, <laughs> Okay, so we'll just stop that there. Okay, so what you'll see here is there's some timestamps there, and the audio and your notes are actually synced up. So if I press play. She was okay. six and she was at the back drawing, and the, the teacher said, This little girl hardly ever paid attention. Okay, so it's highlighting the synchronization here. And, uh, I can also jump to certain sections as well. So if I drawing? jump to here, <laughs> and go to the end, stop. In a drawing, who was uh, in a drawing and lesson, go back. So it's very, attention. very useful. As I mentioned earlier, this is a universal app, so it will also run on the iPad. So in this case, uh, it might be better because you've got more real estate here. So if I start typing note, you've got a much larger keyboard here. Um, in both versions, though, you can actually draw your own diagrams, etc. If you've got quick diagrams to do. So it's a very handy application. Okay, so a little word about the, the cable itself. I got all the parts from Maplins. Uh, on this end, it's a 3.5mm 4-pole plug. And on this end, I've got two stereo line sockets, both 3.5mm. Uh, and the cable I used here is a single-core screened cable. And just a wee word of warning or advice, actually, about wiring up the cable. Normally, on a, a jack plug. This this pole here is the screen and a metal tag runs all the way up the length of the barrel. 
So you've got plenty of space to, to put all your earth wires. This is a non-standard configuration, however, and it's actually on this second pole here. That's where all your earth wires go. So it can get pretty cramped in here. So if you've got a, a thin soldering bit of access to a thin soldering bit, um, I'd advise you use that. And it's still going to be a bit tricky to, to wire up, but it is doable. And as you can see, this this works. So so it can be done. And just another quick point as well. You may be wondering why I'm using a, a stereo connector for the, the mic input when the, the mic is in mono. That's because when I'm using a headset like like this for my video conferencing or Skype, etc. It usually comes with two two connectors, one for your headset and one for your mic. Although it's a mono mic, the left and right channels are actually connected together. So if I had a mono connector on on this one, it would actually short out the signal. So that's why I've got it in stereo. And following on from that, you'll see here with the mic input, I've just left the ring floating, so tip connected, ring floating. I've also uploaded this uh, schematic to Flickr, so you can download that from Flickr.